GMEA All State Technical Band Etude 2018, Middle School. This etude is titled Allegro Leggero, which means it should sound light and buoyant. I have marked all of the breaths that I suggest you take with a breath mark, such as these. There are many breaths marked because most of these breaths have to be taken quickly and are not full breaths. The breaths marked in red are the only breaths where we have lots of time to take a break, full breath. So take advantage of these full breaths, remembering also to breathe with a full breath at the beginning of the piece. There are many different and constantly changing articulations in this piece. So begin learning slowly so that you will get them in your ear as soon as possible. In measure four, beats one to two, this is slurred into this. A note with a slur going into another note with a dot under the slur means that the second beat should be short but not tongued. This is a fast cutoff but done with the air and not with the tongue. I will demonstrate bar four. The staccato is cut off, done with the air, and not with the tongue. This appears many times throughout the piece. Pay close attention to all of the accents marked. The accents, such as this in bar three, are to be short and well accented. And accents such as this and this are to be also quickly accented, followed by a longer note. The short accented ones sound like this. That bar three, bar four. Pay close attention to all of the dynamic markings, such as the mezzo piano in bar 24. This then crescendos poco a poco, little by little, from the end of bar 24 through bar 32, ending with a forte. The mezzo piano marked in bar 17 should be a huge contrast from the forte played in bars 15 and 16 before. Also, note all of the accidental markings in this piece, but remember that these accidentals are only good for one bar and then it returns back to the key signature in the next bar. Some places that are particularly tricky are bars 13 and 14, A natural, A natural, and then A flat, or bar 28, there is an E natural, but an A flat in the key signature as well, or 29, F sharp, E flat in the key signature. In bar six, this upper E is flatted, although the lower octave is natural. This etude should sound light and flowing. That means that the triplets should flow evenly from one group to the next, no matter what the interval or articulation is. When there is an eighth note rest, such as in bar four, make sure that you are subdividing during the rest that, so that you won't be late. The triplets should be even at all times. Remember to keep the air supported no matter what the articulations are. Practice slurring all of the notes in order to have a smooth and continuous flow of air and then add the articulation. I will demonstrate bars one through three, slurred and then articulated.
also remember that airspeed increases when notes ascend or crescendo. To capture the lightness and character of this piece, articulations must be light and crisp, not heavy and long. I will demonstrate several different articulations found in this piece. Bar one, for example. Bar 25. Bar 35. The fermata in bar 32 should not be too long as it is only on an eighth note. I hope this has been helpful. I wish you a wonderful learning journey and the best of luck.